Hi, I'm Dave Troll with the Troll Gallery, and I'm going to show you how to make compound miter cuts with a miter saw. Uh, this is a more complicated cut than you may be used to, but it will allow you to do a lot of different things. Um, if you think of crown molding and difficult joints like that, this is a great tool to do those cuts with. So let's get started. Compound cut is one that's cut on two different angles at the same time. And uh, you'll see this in some furniture making, uh, crown moldings, things of that nature, where you have multiple angles coming together at once. And this, like, as I said, this is the perfect saw to do that. The first thing we're going to do is set the table angle, and then we'll set the head angle. And once we get those set, we can go ahead and in one pass make a compound angle cut. The right, first thing we're going to do, as I said, was we're going to go ahead and change the angle of our table. And for this cut, we're going to set it at 30 degrees and we'll go ahead and lock that down. Once we've got this set up, now we want to tilt the head. Okay, at this point we just want to loosen our head mechanism, the head lock. And I'm going to tilt to the right. The next thing I want to do is double check my fence. You can see if I was to make the cut right now, it actually cut my fence. Um, so what I'm going to do is loosen this up. and slide that out of the way. And tighten it back down. Now I want to check my other fence also because the blade's actually going to come in this way and I want to make sure that I'm going to clear it. And you can see here that I would in fact catch that top corner. So I want to go ahead and slide that fence out of the way as well. Once I have it in the right position, I'll go ahead and lock that back down. Now we can go ahead and bring our stock in to where we want our cut to go. We're actually going to use our clamping mechanism to hold the stock in place so that it doesn't slide one way or the other while we're making our cut. Um, even though you think you may be able to hold it in place by your hand, the power of the saw, especially cutting at two angles, is going to want to pull that in a different direction. So lock it down once you get everything set in place. Okay, at this point we can go ahead and plug our saw in and get our safety equipment on. We'll be using both our uh, eye protection and hearing protection and we're ready to make our cut. We can go ahead and bring the saw up and with a compound cut I like to leave everything in place until the blade has stopped. I don't like to bring the blade back up um, just as a safety issue. Once that's done, we can go ahead and take the scrap out, pull out, unclamp our stock. We've got the long angle here and the short angle here. Okay, so real quickly, that's how to make a compound cut using a compound miter saw. I'm Dave Troll with the Troll Gallery, the fine art of furniture making.